everybody, welcome back to another Captain Set video. Today I'll be teaching you how to start the 737 4X.11 by developer Zebo. First thing you want to do, you get the batteries on. That just switch on the battery here. Make sure standby power is on. As you know, we cannot run on the battery forever because it will die out eventually. So we're going to switch to the ground power unit. To do this, we simply need to call the ground power unit. I want to set the chocks as well just to make sure the airplane doesn't roll away. Now that you have your ground power unit, so we switch on the ground power unit switch. And power from the battery to the ground unit. As you can see, we have no instruments, so we need to align the IRS first, which is basically just like, yes. Um, I'm gonna go over here. Switch these to align. You can see there's a keypad right up here. This is one, which means we have one minute until we can align the IRS. Once the IRS has aligned, so we need to switch both of them now. And these should be flashing right up here. And that means you have to enter in the IRS position in the FMC. Basically, go to menu, FMC, position, and we're going to copy this right over. Now we have instruments. Now we need to actually start the plane. First thing you want to do is start the view, switch that to on, then hold start for about five seconds. Might take you a couple tries. See the dial over here starting to move up. That means you know you've started the APU. Now that we've started the APU, we can switch the APU generator on and turn ground power off. Now that the APU is on, we can start testing the lights. Hold this up on one. Hold this down on two. So the autopilot lights work. Put that on test, and every single light in the airplane should light up. Many pilots call it the Christmas tree test. And finally, we can test the fire extinguishing system and oxygen mask. Now that we're done with that, we can switch back to the overhead panel, turn on the electric hydraulic pumps, APU bleed, yaw damper, and fuel pumps. Now that everything else is ready, we're ready to start our engines. Start the engines, first go up to the ignition, and we're going to switch this to ground, and that will fire up our engine. Once N2 gets to 25, push the mixture level up to idle. start the rest of the engine. Eventually the ignition will move back to auto and now we can switch on engine number two, ignition to ground, and that will start firing up the other engine. Now that it's 
25, push the mixture level up to idle for number two. And that is how you start the Zebo 737-800. Um, very excellent viewer mod, by the way. If you want more content related to X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you another day.